Little Handy Far Locks by Charles Perrault Once upon a time, there was a queen who gave birth to a beautiful little daughter whom she named Curly Locks. However, her joy was dimmed by the words of Fairy, who appeared to her and said, Queen Curly Locks will grow more and more beautiful and graceful as she grows up, but I am sorry to say, she will have no spirit to speak of, and she will be as dull as she is lovely. Nevertheless, she will have one other gift. She will be able to make the man she falls in love with very handsome. Now, in a nearby kingdom, there was another queen who had been waiting for her son for many years. Finally, she had one. But he was very unpleasant to look at, and he had a little top of hair on his head, which earned him the nickname, Little Henry Farlocks. When his mother looked at him in her arms, she sighed with disappointment. A passing fairy took pity on her and said, Don't cry, beautiful queen, although little Henry Farlocks is plain. Nonetheless, he shall be wise and intelligent and he will have the gift of transmitting his wisdom to the woman he falls in love with. Year went past. They went away again. Gradually, Curly Locks became more and more lonely and sad. She would often walk in the woods so that she could weep without anyone seeing her. One day, in the woods she met little Handy Farlocks, who upon seeing such a beautiful, sad, young woman, asked her to marry him. Henry also explained to her that by marrying him, her trouble would be at an end because he had the gift of transmitting wisdom to the woman he will love. Curly Locks agreed to his proposal, but Henry gave her a year to consider her decision. The year went very quickly for Curly Locks. She grew more intelligent by the day. As the day drew near for Henry Farlock's return, she had very mixed feelings. When little Henry Farlock's arrived, Henry fell to his knees before Curly Locks, who kept her high lowered. Imagine her surprise when she raised her head and saw before her handsome young man. Thank you, Curly Locks. The love that was born in your heart for me one year ago. Broke the spell which made me so plain. Just like my love for you, broke the spell which made you so dull. Come, curly locks, let us celebrate our wedding.